Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we're going to be tackling this clock tower. This was suggested by one of you on Facebook, and I thought it was a really cool idea. So, this is what we're building. Um, it's all pretty straightforward. So, we'll just take a quick fly around. It's primarily uh, spruce, andesite, stone, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, the roof is going to be the tricky part. That's the part that we'll probably struggle with the most. But let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is lay out a 7x7 seven seven square. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. So, that is a 7x7 seven seven square. Then we're going to take some spruce planks and we're going to lay those down in a box just like that. Now I am using world edit, which is going to make this possible to fit within a single video, but we're just going to go stack 13. There we go. And that gives us a nice tall tower. Uh, I have always looked at the 15 minute timer in 15 minute builds more as a uh, more as a guideline. In other words, I consider a 15 minute build a build that we can build within a single video rather than you having to watch, you know, a five part series on how to do this. So now what we're doing is we're taking stone bricks and we're going one, two brick, one, two brick one all the way up until you get to this top level, at which point we're going to put andesite in the corners again, and then we're going to fill in the space between the andesite pillars with stone brick, just like this. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and take these cobblestone walls and we're going to stack those as well. So these will just basically go up all the way along the side. And right in the middle as well. There we go. And last one. There we go. Okay. So, that is the base of the clock tower. Now comes the tricky bit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to copy... Actually, let's not. Let's actually do this. We'll do a little actual building. And we need a gap of five. So, this is going to go up an additional one... Oop. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks above where we put this uh, stone brick line. And we're going to need that for the clock faces, which we will be doing in just a moment. There we go. And you know what? I derped it up. I'm sorry. This is actually stone brick right here. So, just to recap, from the ground to, oop, from the ground to this level is a total of 14 high, this is 15 high, and then 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 in height altogether before we get to the roof level, okay? So, I hope you guys are following with me so far. I'm not always very good at explaining these sorts of things when I'm speed building, but that's all right. Okay, so now we're going to put wool behind the clock faces. I'm just going to fill in the whole thing in the interest of time, but you certainly would not have to do that. And in fact, if you were building this in survival, you probably wouldn't want to. Then we're going to take some buttons and we're going to put buttons just like that and one in the middle. And we're going to do that on every side of the build, plus one in the middle, and right up here, 
and I'm using stone buttons. Wood buttons might look okay, but I think they'd be a little bit too light, uh, but that's just me. And one in the middle. There we go. Oop, and forgot the middle one on there, too. Done. Okay. So, let's grab the next step, which is dark oak fences. And since dark oak fences only go up and down, it's going to be 6 o'clock. Or 12.30, depending on how you want to look at it. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Now, in the corners of each of these boxes, we're going to put cobblestone stairs, just to kind of break it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more circular. Circles can be kind of challenging to do in Minecraft, because it's essentially a game of blocks, and angles and stuff like that can be a little bit tricky, but by adding those stairs in, it not only adds a little bit of texture difference and detail, it also will make it look a bit more circular. So, there's that part. Now, we're going to take polished andesite, and we're going to put that in corners sticking out just like this on every corner. Around that, we're going to take these cobblestone stairs, and we're going to come out one extra, and we're going to wrap that around the build like so. What might actually make this a little bit easier is to take dark oak planks, which, as you can see, is actually part of the build over there, and fill in these gaps between the andesite, like so. And that way you can just take your stairs and wrap them all the way around like you see here. There we go. So, there's that. Next, we're going to take dark oak planks, or I'm sorry, dark oak stairs, and bring those around as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up a block. So we'll bring those all the way around. Oop. Eh, whatever. I can stay there. And then on top of that, we're going to put another row of stairs. So basically, stair, stair, full block, stair. And then we're going to do that again. So, up a block. And you'll notice it's getting a little bit faster every time because the box is getting smaller, which is fine. And this time, we're going to go up two blocks. And then put stairs on top of it. Silly thing. There we go. And then we're going to go up two blocks once more and cap it off oh, two blocks once more and cap it off with an oak fence. Now, you'll notice that those don't look quite exactly the same. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take out these corner pieces on this level and then we're going to take out the corner pieces right below them as well. And I know it's a four-sided clock tower, but whatever side you want to be the front of the clock tower, go ahead and take some dark oak stairs and put them just like that. And that will give us this kind of roof shape here that we're looking for. Did I miss... Oh, I did. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well... This is one reason that I love World Edit, and why I love using World Edit in this series. Because I just noticed a pretty astronomical mistake, but I can fix it relatively easy by simply going move one. And that lifts this up one level, allowing me to fix my derpy mistake that I made, and we just need some stone bricks, which will come like this. There we go, 
And there, now they should be identical. Yep, now they're identical. So, beautiful. Okay, so let's just recap. From here up to here, 14 blocks. This level right here is the 15th. Then it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then the roof begins on this level. And that is basically the build, guys. Uh, we can add a little bit of extra detail to it if we want by going and giving it kind of a little base. So let's just use smooth stone. And then maybe we'll go and just line another little bit up with the pillars to kind of reinforce like a circular uh, sort of multi-sided type of thing. Something like that, maybe. Oh, and you know what else I forgot to do? We got to do the stone bricks on all sides. So you're just basically going gap of two, gap of two, gap of two. And we're doing that. Uh, okay, I got the rest of it. It was just that one side that I forgot. So there we go, guys. I'm going to go ahead and call this build complete at 10 minutes and 48 seconds. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.